What's up, America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today, we're gonna do CCW tips for beginners. Before we get started, make sure you follow us on Rumble. We just joined and it's Geauga Firearms and then the number one. Number one tip is get some real training. A lot of states require some educational courses, but it's really important to get some real training from some real instructors. So go find someone in your area that you like and enjoy and start off with a good foundation, especially if you're gonna be talking about taking a live gun and drawing from a holster. I can't tell many people show up to our classes, our holstering class, and they're like, I've been carrying for years and they're flagging themselves and doing a lot of dangerous things. And, and they're actually worse off than people who have never done it because now they have to break all those bad habits and restart. Like I said, a lot of states require that uh, educational course. Some people think that's training, but there's just no way, even if it's a two day course that you can go over everything you need to know and be really ready to take a gun and put it, a live gun on you and carry it around. Because it's not just the knowledge, it's the training and the repetition so that if you were in a stressful situation, you could act accordingly. Number two is know your rights and the laws. I mean, you'd be surprised, most people don't even know the gun laws for the state and they have guns. Most importantly, you wanna make sure you're getting that information from a reputable source, not Facebook. I'm part of a lot of groups and they'll be like, what's the laws here? And it's like, I always wanna say, don't ask people on Facebook because if, John Smith tells you it's okay to carry in a school zone and in your area, it's not okay to carry in a school zone. You know, guess who's gonna be in trouble? Not John Smith, you are. For example, in Ohio, we always send people to the Attorney General website. They have a really nice, easy to read booklet. And number three, you're gonna to have to figure out how, what, and where. So how, you're gonna figure out what holster you're gonna use. Um, I there We have many venues on going over the different types of holsters and how they're used. Um, most importantly, uh, one tip I want you to walk away with from is making sure you get a good gun belt. I can't tell you enough how important that is. You could have the nicest holster and put on a cheap belt that's not a gun belt and you're gonna have a terrible result. You want it to be nice and stiff and hold that gun really tightly to your body. Otherwise, it's just not gonna function properly. So when you're looking at your budget, you wanna spend a good chunk on that gun belt, making sure you get a nice, decent one that's a good, solid gun belt and then you get your holster. Um, you know, of course you want to make sure it's safe. It has a nice trigger guard. Um, the part about what kind of holster you're going to get is going to go with the wear part of, of figuring that part out. So you have to figure out where on your body you're going to carry. And like I said, we have videos that go over the different positions and everything like that we'll put below. And just as a quick pro tip, the most common positions are going to be appendix and four o'clock. They're places that you've, with training, you can carry safely. The two I'm going to tell you, of course, to stay away from are small, the back, that's right where your spine is. Because if you fall down, that's gonna be a bad day. You're gonna, many people have been paralyzed from carrying back there. Uh, the other one is carrying off body. The last part of that tip is the what, and that's figuring out what gun you're gonna carry. And you're gonna run into a lot of people who tell you, this is the perfect gun, and that's not true. For example, this is Neil's carry gun. And as you can see, this is way too big for me to carry comfortably, maybe during the wintertime when I have a huge coat on, but it's just not the right size for me but it's perfect for him. We have a video about buying your first gun. It's very helpful. Um, one thing I want you to walk away with understanding is that concealed carries a lot about this balance. It's this comfort versus function and capacity and all these other things. So you always have to balance that. So finding the right gun, because it all depends on your hand size, where you're gonna carry, how you dress every day, your lifestyle. So um, make sure you check that video out and pick a gun that fits you the best. Now I'm gonna show you our trick for when you're using a public restroom. This is the process. All right, I don't know what you're expecting, but here you go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gun, never set it down on the toilet or anywhere else in there because unfortunately you're a human being and you leave it behind. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your gun, put it in your pants, between your feet, that way nobody can see it. God forbid you gotta use it while you're on the crapper. You still have access to it, and I'm pretty confident no one's gonna go pull their pants up with a loose gun in there and not know it's in there. So there's your solution. Another and very important tip is planning your day. Now you have a big responsibility. You're gonna be carrying a gun, so you need to think, what are you gonna be doing that day? For example, not everywhere you can carry your gun. So what are you gonna do with it? The last tip is something to think about, which is legal insurance. We're not here to push anything. I just think if you can't afford to keep a lawyer on retainer, it's not a bad deal because you know for a little bit of m money each month, you have that peace of mind. Um, so check those out. There's plenty of companies out there. I was gonna say, you know, the things I'll go to for our viewers, but actually it's pretty comfortable. 
We hope you guys enjoyed this video, had a few laughs. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from you. Make sure you guys follow us here on YouTube and make sure you click that bell and you click all because a lot of people are saying, we're not getting your video. So make sure you do that. We're also on Rumble. I'll put our name, it's Giaga Firearms One. We're on uh, Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.